Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do absolutely amazing nails. You can have a wee preview of them in here. Yes, amazing French with some sugar nail art on top of it. Uh, extreme stiletto nails. I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button as there's lots of tutorials in here. And if you're existing subscriber, thank you so much guys for keeping me motivated, <laughs> uh, for all the comments, likes and shares uh, you are doing for this channel. Let's start. <laughs> A little bit extreme, uh, but I'm actually quite liking doing those extreme stiletto nails once or sometimes. And I show you uh, on the pinky how to achieve this look. So I'm just giving a scratches to my natural nail plate, like so it's nice and ready for uh, extension. Like make sure there is no shiny places, but also don't overfile the nails. File the free edge. And remove any bits and pieces which might be underneath of the free edge. Remove the dust. Dehydrate the nail. So I'm using a blue scrub. And now we can apply the form. So we are going to use the full length of this form. And I'm using the Nail Perfect Sculpting Forms. This goes underneath. And for my pinky, I'm just going to cut the form a little bit on the two sides. One side and the other side. So I can pinch it nicer. Pre-pinch in between the fingers, so roll your form, form in between the fingers, so it's nice shape. And then we are going to apply it in a nice stiletto. So the form goes underneath. And then once it sits underneath, we can start closing the form. don't bend your form like we really want to have those huge point like really nice and pointy nice and straight and really pointy very sharp like a needle at the end and then secure the form Okay, so that's my form applied and nice and straight, even a little bit uh, to the top, no gapping from underneath, no gapping. And then we can apply the extra nail dehydrator in case if we have touched the nail, I'm always doing an extra nail dehydrator. And we can start sculpting this beautiful nail. So for such a slant, definitely two layers is not going to be enough. Uh, we'll probably use three layers clean my brush and I'm going to work this this angle cameraman so pick up a small scoop of the product maybe actually not pick up a small scoop of the product and then apply it through the entire nail plate so remove the excess of the product and only small press it hard small amount of the product press it hard into your nail bed like you want this product to really adhere to your nail plate and if you've got too much on your brush, you can easily float the cuticles and you don't want that. That's why you've got only so little. Then pick up another scoop of the product and apply it at the place where the nail join in. And build up the entire skeleton of the nail right to the end. So right to the end of the form. Okay, check the side view. So you've got the lines to follow for a stiletto shape nail. And I'm just following the uh, lines. Nice. Then application. Right to the end. Same on this side. So just follow the stiletto line. And look, I'm not lifting my brush. I'm keeping contact with the product all the time. Okay, so this way we have created really 
nice and sharp skeleton for our skeleton nail. Give it a cure, so put it inside the lamp. And when you're working with the gels, sometimes they might give it a heat spike. So after maybe about five seconds, pull your hand out and then put it back in. This way you will slow down the curing process and you wouldn't feel the heat spike. The gel cures in 30, uh, 60 seconds, so for pinching I need to cure it at half of the time, which is 30 seconds, and then I'm going to pinch it for, uh, for a nice stiletto look using a clear pinching clamp. The gels need to have a clear pinching clamp. They are also a metal pinching clamps, but they are more for like an acrylics rather than for the gels, and I wouldn't recommend it using those uh, metal pinching uh, clamps for a gel just because the light doesn't go through it. So that's a metal one, and we don't use it for a gel. For gel we use the clear one. That's my nail cure. So I'm just going to apply this pinching clamp at the widest part of the nail. If you don't have a pinching clamp, uh, then you could also use the tweezer and that would work as well. Okay, pinch it nice. And I quite like to change the position of the clamp sometimes as well. So I would hold it like this and then I would change the position as well. And then give it a uh, full cure. After this part we are going to build up our structure and our, our apex. So we'll have to apply a very nice and thin layer through the entire nail and then uh, build up our apex. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Just a couple seconds longer. I'm actually excited for this uh, design as well. Uh, it will be a nice cigarette um, frosty kind of look with the paint on French gel. Okay, so that's my nail cure. I can remove the pinching clamp and now we can build up the structure. So for this building up the structure, I'm going to go with my finger like this. Let me do something, guys. So There we are. <laughs> so nice and thin layer through the entire nail. Like make sure you go everywhere. Nice and thin layer. Right to the end. Okay. Right to the end. So this way we've got perfect thickness around the cuticle area and perfect thickness on the sides of the nail. And then I'm picking up a huge scoop of the product and we are going to build up our apex. Only through the middle, look the side view. So one side, other side, one side, other side, and we only concentrate or concentrating on the middle of the nail because by the time we put it inside the lamp, the gel is going to run in there. Look how nicely the gel is smoothing and I've got nice apex. Cook it in. Clean the brush. So that's, that's the quickest way really of building the nail extensions. And sometimes we have no time to really look at the shape and play too much with the shape because you might end up doing kind of messy work with it. It's better to cure it and then take your brush and if it's needed you would add more product. So I'm inspecting the entire nail. And to be honest, this looks pretty nice. <laughs> but just in case, what you could do is take a small scoop of the product. Take a small scoop of the product. Like this part all is going to be filed away. So this part, we are not interested in this part. So you can just take a small amount of the product and then apply it through the entire nail just in case if you've got any missing places. Okay, check the thickness, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And when you've got so little product, like you don't have to worry about like 
um, the gel which will leak on the sides or make a mess. No, the needle is really nice. I'm not going to apply any more product. I'm surprised actually we have managed into the two layers almost uh, because I normally build up such a slant, such a long slant and then three, three layers of the gel. So put everything on the side. Now I can remove the form. So peel it down and I want to give an extra pinch. So this time I'm pinching from underneath. Okay, just secure the pinching clamp and my hand goes just normal inside the lamp. Like so clamp is upside down, but the hand goes on uh, into the lamp just normal. Give it a final cure, make sure the product is cured properly. And then we are going to move on into the shaping and then the beautiful French uh, application. And this way I always do a French nails in a salon. And I love this technique because um, when the client comes back for a rebalance, you do two move of the file and your French is gone and you can easily um, change it. Say imagine you are doing a black French and you would do it in the sculpting gel, kind of like right down inside or with the acrylics, you would have to file it all the way down to the skeleton of your nails and which is really time consuming and I cannot imagine like doing for my clients um, mm, new design and then the old design is kind of underneath uh, I, I think it just doesn't look right uh, so I prefer doing kind of more plain sculpted nails and then do the stuff on top of it so when they come in I'm always got two moves of the file to file away the French or the design so I'm just removing the inhibition layer and now we are going to shape this nail. So when filing those uh, type of nail, you want to straighten up the sides, like underneath. So nice and straight. Of course, I need to hold the, hold the nail. Um, so file it nice, one side. And then other side. Okay, so we are filing away all the product which we don't need it. Ideally, this finger could be longer to hold the end as well. So file that away. Check if those sides, they, they kind of at the same, um, they drop the same amount. Okay, so you can also do it by rolling your finger and then you can see it if, they, if there is one side higher or lower. So this is how you would check the lower arches. Then we need to blend everything around the cuticle area because this is stuff which I'm always doing. So like blend everything around the cuticle area. Like make sure there is no places where the clients can catch it and where the nails can lift. And I show you how the nail already looks. So it already looks much better, much better shape, but it's still pretty bulky. And uh, you can see it here. I've got the bulk of the product. So just touch it up. And then we are going to smooth out the entire surface of the nail. So with my file, I'm just going to smooth it out the entire nail. Just so it's nice everywhere. Honestly, guys, once I discover this move, my nails shaping is so much nicer. And I really recommend it like going this way. So remember the nail has this curvature and you need to go like following the scarf of the nail and if you don't press too hard you are only going to file the places which really needs to be filed okay i just need to hold this nail because it's very extreme and we don't want to break it. And this will be a more kind of, uh, I actually really recommend it guys to you as well, doing uh, once or sometimes those kind of extreme nails because they are fantastic for your shaping, practicing and for your product control as well. Because if you can do such as long, uh, long nails, you would be able to, uh, to do it any kind of nails and they would be much uh, easier and quicker for you to do it once you can get control over the product for such a slant and for such an extreme look. So that's that's the only reason why we do it. Like it's not something I would do it, of course, on the client, only for like um, competition looks and uh, magazine work. 
but absolutely great way of practicing. Yes, you all got the fright. I would break it. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't. Okay, I'm just checking. I still got the bulk of the product in here. Side walls, and I really need to get off this bulk here. That's better. Okay, now I'm going to take a buffer and when you're buffing those kind of needles, you need to be careful so you don't catch with your buffer because then you could really break the needle. So with the buffer, I'm just smoothing the entire surface of this beautiful needle. And you really need to do it so your French is going to be nice. So blend everything around the cuticle area. Smooth it out, make it more pointy. And then once you're happy with it, just remove the dust and then we can move on into the French application. So clean it with the blue scrub, the entire nail. And then we can paint the French. So that's the paint on French gel. I'm going to use it. And also for a French, we are going to use the angular um, gel brush. It is fantastic for a French application. So I'm just going to clean my brush. Again, always when I store the brushes, I'm just cleaning them and then pick up the paint on French gel. So I want to load my brush in case if I was using for different color and then wipe it away. So my brush load those white. Okay, keep it nice um, and together. Sorry, I just cleaned the dust. Don't want the dust to get into my French. There we are. Okay, so now we are going to paint this French manicure. I have picked up the small amount of it. And one corner of the smile line. So one corner of the smile line. I love painting French this way. right down to the end then other side so the second corner of the smile line and with this brush it's really easy to do the corners check are they on the same height yes they are on the same height so now i'm just going to go into the v shape Apply it to the entire nail. And now let's correct the smile line. Okay, so one side. And then other side. You can see I'm twisting the brush. And push my product. Now just perfect the smile line. And to perfect the smile line, you will do it. Sorry, I have to explain it first, then I can do it. So when you're doing a smile line, like I, I tend to exhale the air so I don't shake um, when I'm painting. And uh, to make it perfect, you have to apply it the same like you would apply gel polish around the cuticle area. So you would push the product to your smile line. Like don't start with it, but just push to, to the smile line. So look what I'm doing push it a little bit so I don't go to the smile line I push my product till it's reached the place in and out and this way I can make it really nice and sharp and beautiful so I'm just going to do it but without of talking sorry guys
and French has to be always perfect like so at this uh, when I'm doing this part I never talk imagine doing all day long French manicure like eventually you will get even a sore head okay just push it so you've got those beautiful sharp smile line I check also the client view and then I can see if this site isn't perfect And now it is going to be better. Okay, I'm not bothered. Okay, I wanted to show you a nice French, but I'm not bothered too much about it because we are going to hide it with the French, uh, with the design as well. So it don't need to be perfect for this look, but I wanted to show you how to do it nice as well for uh, for your client. So now I'm just going to cut this French. A couple seconds longer and then we are going to apply the high shine no wipe top gel so just apply the top coat through the entire nail pull the nail folds down Up the free edge and then give it a cure. I'm going to use the paint on French gel also for the design as well. And it's not going to be overly complicated design. So I'm just grabbing my D liner brush. And then we are going to paint this design. So again, I have picked the small amount of the white into my brush. And then I'm going to clean it just so my uh, brush absorbs this uh, product. And now we are going to paint the design. So it is going to be like a kind of flowery part. And then inside, same on the top. That's why I told you we don't have to bother too much about the French because it's not going to be as visible. And then on another petal, very simple kind of minimalistic flower, I would say. Then I'm just going to add a couple squiggles. So you want a little bit of the blob on your brush. One, two, some dots. And then on the bottom, very simple as well, like a wee lines. Then take the sugar. And now we are going to sprinkle it with the sugar. So the entire nail, sprinkle it with the sugar. Remove the excess and then give it a cure. I think sugar just finish it off this design. It's like absolutely amazing. So after it's cured, so I will show you the final look. 
And uh, I hope you have learned something. Like I have done it for a reason. It is much harder to do those type of extreme kneels than the short kneels. If you would do similar design on the short kneels, it will be just so easy. Like you don't need as much of the control over your mm, gel. It's much quicker. It's less filing. Uh, so I wanted to show you on something a little bit more extreme. extreme. And it's worth to practice it like once or sometimes as well for your product control and uh, just to improve your skills as well. I think that's that was a big milestone for me as well, like uh, in my needle technician career when I could uh, uh, create those kind of extreme needles and uh, they improve my my skill and my work so much. Okay, that's this needle ready. So I'm just removing the excess of the uh, pigment and you can have a with, we look how beautiful it is absolutely fantastic so i hope guys you have really enjoyed watching uh, this tutorial uh, glittery sent by for now